Greetings. Let's start with some simple questions today. How about this one? Fill in the blank. When you choose thoughts that feel good, you feel good. That one was simple. All right, now let's complete three or four different words to this next phrase. When you feel good, you have more things like energy, power, happiness. Go ahead and choose three or four of your own there. I'll give you just a second. Okay, so here's the deal about that second question. When you feel good, you have it all. When you answer all of the possible completions for that phrase, it includes things like ease, energy, enthusiasm, fun, friends, freedom, laughter, luck, love, motivation, magic, miracles. You have more health, more hope, and more happiness. It's amazing. It all comes from what? Feeling good. And what we already have declared here is that feeling good comes from choosing thoughts that feel good. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today, choosing thoughts that feel good. And there's one thought that has been shown in research over and over again to be the thought that feels the best. Gee, it's simple. Gee, it's powerful. Gee, it's gratitude. Let me tell you a little story about my brother. Jim is a dentist and he went to Haiti to help those folks about six months after that devastating earthquake. When he came back, he couldn't wait to tell me. Now, I knew a lot about Haiti. I knew that they had no clean air, no clean water, certainly no infrastructure after 21,000 people died in that earthquake. And his first words to me were, MK, you won't believe how grateful they are. Think about it. You woke up this morning with something you could, if you wanted to, worry or complain about, yes? We all did. We also all woke up with something we could, if we wanted to, be grateful for. As I was walking up to my car this morning, that wonderful guy was picking up my garbage. Oh my gosh, I was so grateful for him and he seemed to be having a good time. When I waved at him, he waved back and I was grateful. That wasn't my job today and I get to be here with you. So we all have so many things to be grateful for every day. And gratitude is a huge part of not only the happiest, healthiest, and most successful people's lives, but it's also part of the world's most powerful positive attitude formula. Everybody knows positive attitude is everything, but the amazing thing is the world has yet to find a positive attitude definition simple enough that we can all remember it and use it. So, you ready? Drum roll. FGH, that's it. I've been teaching it and testing it for 25 years. It's it. The greatest positive attitude formula you'll ever hear is forgiveness of the past, gratitude for the present, and hope for the future. All of our thoughts are about the past, present, or future, correct? Ah, so all we need to do is forgive what happened yesterday. It's history. Be grateful for what's happening now and have hope for what's happening in the future. So what does the gratitude exercise, the gratitude lifestyle look like? 